was founded on the idea that people are entitled to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. But what does that really mean? It sounds like the founding fathers just couldn't think of another word that started with L. It, it was supposed to be life, liberty and leeches. <laughs> but then they realised that healthcare isn't a right and they scrapped it. This is exciting. The show is a lot different from when I was last on it. Why? What happened last night? You time? didn't used to pick on 98-year-old women as much. It's <laughs> <laughs> very good. You should have her on the show more often. Probably, <laughs> probably in the next year or so. Don't. Uh... <laughs> now, think about your favourite thing. You might be into sports, gardening, golf. I don't know what the fuck you're into. Now, think about it. Now, replace it... ..with rape. <laughs> And that's how Bill Cosby feels all day, every day. <laughs> what were you taught about America as a child? Those guys have horns <laughs> with a big nose. Big nose and horns. That's Canadians you're explaining. 2006, I was punched in the head on stage. Someone just ran on stage and punched me in the head for something I said. And that's too long a story to tell right now. But I was punched in the head on stage. Oh my, my, God. my son was watching Files. I'm upstairs showering. He just runs upstairs, really excited, and he's pointing at me in the shower going, you're a fail! You're a fail! <laughs> and I'm just, like, looking, I'm like, going, could be better, but you're not going to be much better, you know? <laughs> if I ever had an assisted suicide, I wanted to be a Canadian doctor. <laughs> I want some guy rocking up to my house like, OK, you're ready then. Uh, <laughs> so I hear that someone's given up on life, eh? <laughs> All right, let me just set up my little death machine here and I'll, uh, I'm gonna put this in your vein and you're gonna be so sleepy so soon, I tell you what there. You meet a couple that's been married for 50 years and no one says, yeah, that checks out, that's par for the course. It's always, oh my God, how did you do it? What's your secret? And you always get the same response. She says, well, it's all about compromise. And then the guy chuckles and says, yeah, yeah, she's always right. And then he, he, he looks down the floor and a small portion of him dies. Now, I did this routine in Australia and they wrote a very horrible review of the show. And I, I hate that people forget that I'm a comedian and that I'm joking. Um, but I have to do this little public service announcement before I do this routine. I believe, in many ways, rape is wrong. <laughs> I believe, when possible, you should always avoid raping people. I was an actor in North Korea, propaganda student troupe, to tell people not to escape from North Korea. That was your job? Yes. And were you always plotting to escape yourself? Were you like, hey, don't... It's like, it's like when I tell people, like, don't take drugs. <laughs> in 1996, Australia had the biggest massacre on Earth. Still hasn't been beaten. And... <laughs> the actress who plays a prostitute, you guys have, uh, you guys hook up, yeah. and there's a baby, so what happens later on when your, your child says... I, I, I have to look him in the eye and say, when I met your mother, I employed her as a prostitute. <laughs> you get diagnosed when you're about six years old, when you're not walking right, and they put you on crutches. By the time you're 10, you're in a wheelchair, by the time you're 20, you're in a completely vegetated state. Most people die before their 25th birthday. Dan's lived to be 33 years old, still alive and kicking. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> still alive. In the earliest days, you needed someone to watch your back since most of your days were spent avoiding shit that could kill you. The marriage contract was like, hey, quick, you grab that potato and I'll look out for velociraptors. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> oh, that was, that was quick. I guess we're parted. <laughs> oh, he, he left the bottom half. That's good. I can have sex and eat tonight. <laughs> I can't tell you the amount of arguments I've had with women that could have been sorted out quicker with a punch. <laughs> and... Why am I on the subject of domestic violence? <laughs> it's a horrible thing, of course it is. Now, I tried to do this routine in Kansas. Very hard to explain <laughs> what a really good meal's like. They fucking... They couldn't wrap their brain around it. I was like, you know when you go to one of those really fancy restaurants? There? 
And I went, think about the best meal you've ever had. And then one guy yells out, ribs. And I was like, yeah, yeah, ribs are good. But think of a meal that's even better than ribs. And he thought about it and he went, two ribs. And I went, yeah. I'm proposing a new type of po uh, partnership. It's based on the traditional wedding vows. It's called, I love you for better. Why do they teach you English if you're never allowed to leave? Uh, can I tell the truth? <laughs> yeah, sure, of course. North Korea government said that when you fight with American, you should know uh, English for killing them. Oh, so you can kill the people. Not Lashers. people, like, you... American. Yeah, oh, not people, <laughs> Americans. Yeah, oh, it's, okay, it's... sorry. <laughs> nice to know English. Yeah. So you can say, uh, happy 4th of July, motherfucker. <laughs> you constantly say freedom all the time. Like, you're the... Oh, we're so free, we fight for freedom, freedom, freedom. Come to the Freedom Lounge at the airport. Like, fucking what? <laughs> you know when you're singing the national anthem at the baseball and the, and the person holds the note free for a little bit longer than they should until all you Americans fucking come in your pants? <laughs> for the land of the free... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Now, one upside to escaping North Korea is access to free press. But one downside to escaping is the non-stop, 24-7 free press. And I have a wonderful... I love America, I truly do. I, uh, I live here and I love it. I have nothing against... And none of the things I'm about to mention affect you, affect me, in any way, right? You may not be the freest place on Earth. I'm all for your Second Amendment rights. I think you should be able to have guns. It's in your constitution. What I am not for is bullshit arguments and lies. There is one argument and one argument alone for having a gun, and this is the argument. Fuck off. I like guns. <laughs> it's not the best argument, but it's all you've got. Between Donald Trump cozying up to Vladimir Putin at yesterday's summit and the protests that follow him wherever he goes, America's image is taking a beating all over the world. And yet, America doesn't really seem to give a f What we lack in diplomacy, we make up for in confidence. <laughs> the US is basically the aggro, coked-up guy in the bar smothered with Axe body spray <laughs> and just screaming in some woman's ear about Bitcoin. It's the way of the future! Bitcoin! Bitcoin! You have social media, every single peanut fucking thought that ever came into your head. I'll fucking comment on that. <laughs> What type of fucking low-rent cunts are you? <laughs> like, if you take more than three selfies a week, fucking end it. End it. <laughs> the way to make America great is to admit it has flaws. I mean, all you patriots who seem to love this country so much, you also hate immigrants. <laughs> if you don't want them to come here, stop telling them it's so f good. This is the greatest country in the history of mankind. Oh, calm down, Marco. The, the history of mankind. <laughs> it's not even the greatest in the history of now. <laughs> have, have you ever been to Bora Bora? You just sit there on the beach all day drinking cocktails while resort workers rub your feet. <laughs> sure, it's not a good country for them, but I had a wonderful time. <laughs> I'd live there permanently if they had better comedy clubs or a comedy club. When we fucked last night, it was a little bit dry, and now I'm sore. <laughs> now, to any woman who said something similar to this, may I say, your problem. <laughs> my job was to get an erection. Your job was to get your hole wet. <laughs> Didn't you get your hole wet? <laughs> we both had things to do. Why do we place so much value on beauty? Good-looking people aren't inherently better. They're just lucky enough to be dealt a, a good hand and, and eyes and bone structure and another hand. And, but not the feet, though. Beautiful people have gross f***ing feet. They, they're always wearing high heels and they've got bunions and they've got that little toe that takes over the rest of the foot. It's disgusting. If you want to see nice feet, date a lesbian in Birkenstocks. These are the top 10 countries who execute the most prisoners. And the US isn't even the last one. It's number seven. 
Personally, I'm against the death penalty, or as I call it, grown-up abortion. The Jews. Thoughts? World War II and the Holocaust. What we were told about, like, the six million Jews, absolutely not correct. You're not a Holocaust denier. I am. It just doesn't add up to six million. And let me ask you this. No. 